Hi, I'm Erica Stinchcomb on Team West Side Discs. I'm gonna show you my new bag this year. It, the bag is new, it's the Noble. Um, it's a prototype coming out soon. The discs are largely the same though, but I'll just run you through what I'm throwing. I carry about five different swords. Is that five? Yep, so the majority of these are gonna be hybrid swords. It's my bread and butter, my go-to disc. These are just various levels of seasoned. The white ones turn a little bit more. They can hold a lot of different shapes. The blue ones have a little bit more stability. You're gonna see me throw this so much of the time. Favorite disc. And then I also have the Tournament X sword. When I need a little bit more bite and stability, it has a little bit more fade but you can still get it to turn. Super reliable disc. I think the only other driver I carry is a Raider, and that's if the wind is up or I need just a lot more fade if I need something that's super reliable, backhand, forehand. I can get it to go straight, but I can't really get it to flip, uh, and it's always gonna fade. That's another sword I forgot about. Fairway drivers, I throw a Felon. That's, again, if I just need a utility stability disc. This one is a Lucid Sparkle Felon. If I just need something to fade, and know exactly what it's gonna do. Felon, this is a Lucid Convict. It's gonna go pretty straight and have a little bit of fade. I use it a lot on forehand shots, maybe 275 feet or so. I've had this stag forever. It's just a tournament stag. It's really straight. This one kind of flips up a little bit, tends to go relatively straight. This one is a hybrid stag, which I tend to prefer the hybrid plastic. It uh, has a little bit more finish. So I'll be curious to see if that seasons in to be similar to the tournament. And then lastly, for fairway drivers, this is my least stable. These are my hatchets. Tournament hatchet, I've been throwing this for a long time. Super tricky, flips up, rides to the right. It doesn't really have finish. If you're trying to learn a hyzer flip or need a disc that goes to the right, if you're a right-handed backhand player, give the hatchet a go. The hybrid plastic has a little bit more stability. So if the tournament is a little squirrely for you, the hybrid or a VIP might not turn into a roller immediately. So throwing a variety of hatchets, mid ranges, I have a flat top Lucid X Suspect. This is my most stable mid-range. I throw it a lot on forehand approaches or backhand hyzer approaches. Next most stable is a VIP Warship. This tends to be my, you know, straight to stable finish disc. It's pretty reliable. It's pretty hard to get it to flip. Doesn't have as much finish as the Suspect, but definitely a little bit of stability. My Warship is probably my most versatile mid. I can get it to flip and ride right if I need to. It can go straight. It can have a finish. It tends to just hold the line you put it on and just have a lot of glide. I prefer the hybrid Warship. And the trickiest, most fun mid is my Tursus. This is a VIP. I also really like tournament. This is very understable. This is like patent pending, get out of the woods, do something crazy kind of a disc. Really good for beginners or slower arm speeds or if you're just looking to do something really cool. Last but not least, throwing putters. A harp, I think everybody knows what a harp does. Super reliable, nice flat top, stable disc. Shield has a little bit of stability. It's straight with a little bit of finish. Backhand, forehand, it's kind of my bread and butter. I added a BT hybrid shield if I need it to land and bite the ground and not skip away from the basket. A little less stable than the uh, tournament shield, but it just sits nice and soft. And then lastly, my throwing maiden. If you wanna throw something dead straight forever, get a maiden. Uh, I do throw one in a BT medium as well. New bag, getting used to it, there we go. I throw this one off the tee. And then I have two more BT ma medium maidens that are my putting putters. And that is my entire bag.